Okay, I'm uh, standing in here in front of um, our latest model Earthship. Now, it's it's aimed at taking the Earthship concept and making it affordable. Not super simple camping out affordable, but almost conventionally affordable. Uh, the global model works great, but they're running generally a little bit more expensive than a typical affordable home. And this is under three thousand, under three hundred thousand dollars for a two bedroom, one bath home um, with kitchen, living, dining. That absolutely activates all of the Earthship principles. Deborah will take you through and explain each one of those. But this is something that banks can loan on and that people can afford and it works as good as the global model Earthship. So it's, it's a matter of designing it simple so that it fits together simple and so that you don't have to be uh, a super craftsman to build it. This building was built by pretty much uh, all novice people uh, and myself. And I figure that if I can build it, anybody can. So um, we're introducing this and now we're just gonna start building them. We're putting out all kinds of drawings for them on the app and, and talking about them in the academy and webinars. Our effort is to try and make this product easily available to people all over the world because it is something that can steer us through a lot of the uh, problems that we're bound to have in the future and uh, of course we're in the middle of one right now with the uh, virus. So we think this is the product of the future. Deborah will take you through it. Hi everybody, welcome to Taos, New Mexico. Uh, my name is Deborah. We're here today to have a look at the latest Airship Encounter model uh, that is uh, currently for sale for under $300,000. This is the most affordable Airship building yet. So come on and let's have a look inside. So the Earthship Encounter model um, was designed by Michael Reynolds after his Earthship Global model and uh, the Simple Survival model. What this is, um, is that it is a very affordable Earthship model. Um, it has exactly the same comforts that the Global model or any other type of Earthship, um, but it is affordable, it is under $300,000, um, and it is uh, possible to build this building anywhere in the world. Um, so, if you want to come in inside, this is the beautiful greenhouse. Uh, this building was just finished. Uh, it's getting its last clean today. Um, so, you will see that the plants that are in here are still all only starting. Um, in a few months from now, this will be an absolute jungle. Uh, the beauty of these buildings is that you wake up, you open up the door of your bedroom, and uh, you're literally sitting in a jungle full of plants. You can pick tomatoes out of your greenhouse for breakfast if you wish to do so, um, and it all waters itself. We'll go through that in a minute. Um, on this side, we have the bathroom. Uh, so you can see in here that there's a small bathroom sink and a shower. Uh, the shower water and the, and the bathroom sink water um, is very peculiar in, in Urshis because this goes straight into the gray water planter in the greenhouse. So the way that happens is that once you have a shower or you wash your hands, that water goes into this planter that we saw before in the greenhouse. It waters your plants, which means that you're saving on water and also on energy because it means that you don't need to water your plants. And then at the end of the process, on the other side of the greenhouse, that same water gets collected and is used to flush your toilet. So what that means is that is you're really saving on your water use. What Ursha does is it uses your same water four times. Uh, you catch the water on the roof, the rainwater uh, from the roof, you filter that water, you then use it in the shower or in your sink. From there, uh, you water your plants with it, so you're growing food with that same water. Then you use that same water again to flush your toilet, and then from there, that water goes outside into a contained sewage system that will never contaminate 
um, any of your surroundings or the land around you. Okay, so we've just covered one of the six principles of Earthships, which is uh, grey water and black water recycling. And uh, now what we'll do is we'll have a look at the other parts of the building. And as we do that, we'll explain a little bit of the other five principles uh, that Earthships are famous for. So if you want to come in here, this is one of the bedrooms. Uh, again, this is a two bedroom, one bathroom, uh, encounter model Earthship. So another one of the principles of Earthships is to use repurposed materials to build these type of buildings. You can see this wall, these are actually all um, old bottles. These are all wine bottles, beer bottles, liquor bottles that we then make bricks out and um, they come out as these beautiful walls that let the light through into your bedroom. Um, so this is one of the bedrooms. It has plenty of storage area back here. Um, you can see that the walls are this beautiful adobe finish. Um, it's all natural materials that we're using for this and it makes you feel very comfortable uh, in this type of environment. Yeah. Another one of the features of Earthships is the natural heating and cooling of the building. What that means is that you have absolutely no utility bills in terms of heating or cooling. There's no air conditioning needed, there's no heating needed. Um, this saves on bills very much and at the same time you're not contaminating the planet. Um, so I will show you, your air conditioning is right here. So again, this is a closet in one of the bedrooms and this is what we call the cooling tube. If it gets too hot in summer, which can happen here in Taos, uh, where in summer it can get very hot, all you have to do is you open this up and I can already feel the cool breeze coming in straight away. Um, what this does, it's a natural system of cross-ventilation and convection. So the cold air comes in through the berm, and we will look at that later, travels up into the front of the building and rises up and outside. Um, and it is just as if there was an air conditioning system in here right now. Besides cooling, then there's also obviously the heating part. So all these buildings, believe it or not, are made out of tires. Um, so this wall here in the back, this is actually a tire wall. So these are repurposed materials that come from landfills uh, that cannot be used for anything else and that are a byproduct of our society really. And what we do with these tires is we pack them with dirt, we compact them with, with dirt, um, which then creates a physical thermal mass. So it almost works as if it was a heating battery. Uh, so this huge wall out of dirt uh, heats up through the sun, uh, warming up the building, coming through the south face, and then when it does get cold at night or in winter, it slowly releases that heat, that warmth back into the building, keeping you comfortable all year round. Uh, so this is the dining and living area. Um, as you can see, it's an open plan concept uh, with ample space for a couch, um, a dining area. Um, and uh, obviously the kitchen. Uh, these buildings come already equipped with a full kitchen with a stove um, and a DC fridge, uh, which means that it is only powered by solar. Um, it's all this kitchen, as you can see, is beautiful finishes. It's custom made. So this fridge here, for example, is uh, a DC fridge. Um, so again, this is an off-grid building. Uh, this building is not connected to anything, anywhere. It makes you completely independent. Um, it makes you completely self-reliant um, without having any dependency on any external systems. So anything can happen in the world right now and you will still be comfortable here and have everything that you need. Um, all the electricity comes from solar. Um, it's a 2 kilowatt uh, system that we have in this building right now. Um, the fridge runs on solar, all the lights run on solar. Um, again, there's no AC connection, there's no other type of um, electrical input in this building. That does not mean that you have to sacrifice any of your comforts. You can still have a television, you can charge your laptops, there's lights in every building. Um, you can see that there's actually a big number of, of outlets and lights everywhere. Um, it does not mean by any way that you, are, you need to sacrifice any of your comforts. That's the beauty of this building, is that you're still as comfortable as in any 
conventional building, if not more. Um, because one thing that airships do is that they give you a very special feeling when you live inside them. Um, because of the natural materials that they're built with, uh, because there's so many people that put their time and effort into building these, it really is a very special feeling that you get in these buildings. As we go into the second bedroom, um, you will see right here this beautiful view over the Taos Mesa. Um, and I just wanted to point out that this is a passive solar building. So what this means is that these, this huge glass front that we see here, um, that is basically what, what warms up your building. So this allows all the sun to come in here um, and warm up this space, this greenhouse space, which creates a buffer zone to then warm up the rest of the building. Um, and it is, as you can see, absolutely stunning to have this huge south-facing window wall um, and that makes you feel like you're living in sync with nature at all times. So let's go and look at the second bedroom over here. So this bedroom is slightly smaller than the other one. Um, it still has the same beautiful natural adobe finishes on the walls. Um, it still has plenty of storage space back here. Um, and again, you can see here as well, again, you have your natural air conditioning happening um, and you can see this, this covered tile wall. Also in this room is where we have our systems. So our WAM, which is our water organizing module, and our POM, which is our power organizing module. So let's start with our power, our electricity. There is six solar panels outside, and I will show you this in just a second. Uh, from there, um, your electricity comes in here. Um, it goes through an inverter, which basically just means that you can use your outlets in the same way as in a conventional building. It converts your 12 volt system to a 120 volt system so you can use all your appliances and your charge controller. And then in here is where your batteries are stored. So there's eight batteries in here. They are all sealed. They do not need any maintenance whatsoever, um, which means that for the next decade or two decades, you are completely fine without having to do any maintenance on these buildings. Um, there is no cost involved with maintaining your building in a long time. The only maintenance cost that we have really in this type of buildings are cleaning out some of the water filters very once in a while and your propane for your kitchen. Besides that, there's no utility bills that you need to pay. And this is really where the real saving comes in from these buildings, is that not only it is affordable, but once you, once you have bought it, you do not have any utility bills. Um, and as most of you will know, electricity and water and propane get, can get very expensive depending on where you live. Okay, so also in this room is your, is your WOM, your water organizing module. So what that means is that this is where your water gets filtered before you use it. So again, this is an off-grid building, which means that all the water that you consume in this building, in your, water, in your shower, in your bathroom, uh, even for drinking, is rainwater. Um, there is a big roof, which we will show you later, um, where you catch all that rainwater. It goes into two cisterns. Um, it's almost 3,000 gallons uh, of water that can be stored there, which is plenty uh, for this building. And then from there, from those cisterns, that water comes into this building and gets filtered so that you can safely use it for your showers and for drinking. So in here, we have our water organizing module. So if you want to come a little bit closer, um, we have hookups for washing, washer and dryer over here. So this is all set up already to be used. Uh, this is our pressure tank here, which basically just means that you have nice pressure in your shower um, and in your sinks when you use it. Um, and then this is your uh, hot water heater over here to make sure that you have hot water always. You can see there's a little detail over here as well, again, with the recycled bottles that we use, um, which is beautiful. Then in here is our WOM, our water organizing module. So this is where your water comes through, and it goes through a number of filters. This over here is a drinking water filter to ensure that the water that you're consuming in this building and that you are using is safe to use. 
Um, these filters uh, do need to get cleaned out very once in a while. It's a very simple process. A five-year-old child could do it without any problems. Um, and that is some of the only maintenance that you need to do in this building. All right, so this is the second bedroom. Again, it's a two bedroom, one bathroom unit. Um, what we'll do now is we're gonna go outside and go on the roof. Uh, for those of you that are interested in seeing a little bit more on how the water and solar systems work on this building. Hi again, so here we are standing on the roof of our newest Encounter Airship model. Um, we just wanted to point out real quick here that you can see how big this roof is. The reason it is so big is because it, this is where you catch all your rainwater that you are then going to filter and use for your consumption in the building. Also, there is absolutely no penetrations in this roof. Uh, one of the biggest issues with any conventional buildings or any buildings right now in the world um, is roof leaks. You will never have a roof leak with this building because there's absolutely no penetrations in this roof. They are all come out, all your vent pipes and everything come out on the side. So once it's the water hits all this roof, this big surface that you have, it goes into this front gutter that you can over see over here. And where we're standing on right now, this is where your water cistern is buried. There's one on this side, there's one on the other side of the building as well. Um, so the reason your cisterns are buried is um, so that your water stays clean and fresh in there, um, that you don't have any algae or anything else growing in there. Um, and then from there, from these cisterns, as we saw earlier, that water goes straight to your warm, to your water organizing module and goes through that number of filters um, so that your water is fresh and safe for you to use. Also, you can see on this side are your solar panels. So we have, again, we have six solar panels, three on each side, um, which create a two kilowatt system, which is plenty um, for up to four people living in this airship encounter model. Again, it's a beautiful day here in Taos. You can see um, the sage is growing all around us. It's a beautiful spring day. Um, these buildings were great here in Taos. We're in the process of building two more right after this one and they will also work anywhere in the world really. So that's it for me today. Uh, thank you very much for listening and watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the tour of this beautiful Airship Encounter model. If you are interested in getting to know more about these buildings or in building one or purchasing one, uh, please email us at reception at airship.com. That's reception at airship.com. Again, these buildings are affordable. They're under $300,000. So they're completely off the grid and they will take care of everything that you need. Thank you.